Hello students, now we are going to discuss a problem from the chapter Atomic Structure and this question has been asked in J.E. Main 2018. So the question says the deep Broglie wavelengths of electron present in the first Bohr orbit of H atom. So we have to calculate the deep Broglie wavelength of electron which is present in first Bohr orbit of hydrogen atom. So in order to solve this question we will use the concept of angular momentum and we will try to relate it with the radius of hydrogen like atom. So let's see what is the concept behind this question. <coughs> so as we know in Bohr model the angular momentum is given as mv the product of mass velocity and radius is given as n h upon 2 pi where n is the orbital state and h is our Planck constant. So also we know that momentum is given as h upon lambda. We have earlier derived it from the uh, equation of E is equal to hc upon lambda. So from there we derived what will be the value of momentum. So we have equation of momentum which is given as h upon lambda. And we can replace the value of mv by this p which is product of mass and velocity is we know that which is called as momentum. So we will use this one in this equation and this will become like this h upon lambda into r is equal to n h upon 2 pi. So h can be cancelled from here and we will find what will be the value of lambda which will coming as lambda is equal to 2 pi r from to these value we can find what will be the value of wavelength since n is our 1 in case of hydrogen it is present in ground state so lambda can be written as 2 pi into r also we know that know that in Bohr model radius is given as 0.529 hydrogen atom. So this is the value of Bohr's radius for the hydrogen atom. So we can substitute this value into the formula of lambda which is coming as 2 pi r and the value of r is simply 0 0.529 Armstrong. So in that way we have calculated what will be the value of lambda which is our wavelength for the Bohr model. So from the given options we can see that B is our correct option, the right one which is equal to value of wavelength is coming as 2 pi into 0 0.529 Armstrong. Also we can see its reference video from this section and the video is about 2 or 3 minutes. We can refer to the books like chemistry part 1 of NCRT class 11 and this concept is present on page number 46 and in line 48. There is also another book which is called Physical Chemistry by P. Bahadur and this concept is on page number 169 and in line number 14. So thank you students.